Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be doing some LED light bar install from my new sponsor Oxbeam on both the 240 and the VR4. So stay tuned. So shout out to the folks at Oxbeam for hooking it up fat. Um, these are going to be really awesome. And there's a matching set over here as well. So it comes like this with both the lights, a nice sticker. This is a wiring harness and some mounting brackets. All right, so um, what I got going on is I got the spider chilling way back here. It's been a while since the spider's been in the garage. Um, I'm gonna do some touch-ups on it, I think, and put my new stickers on there. You know, these guys, these guys. Who's looking to join Team Paradox? Let me know in the comments. Okay, so I got the um, kind of light mocked up. So this is kind of what it would look like if we were to do the sleepy eye mod so hmm maybe maybe i don't like how it's so short and maybe it should come out to like right here okay so here we got the switch the power is on um it's pretty simple the wiring harness is very self-explanatory like anyone can wire this um you just got a black wire that's coming out of the relay thing right there and then you got a red wire that comes out of this relay thing right there now, uh, the wiring harness comes with ends on this side and another black and white cord that ends over here that can go over there. Um, so white means power, black means ground, and then you just hit the button. Boom. Woo! Oh, shit, that's bright. Jesus, there it is. All right, so I got the GT pulled into the garage here. Um, I was taking those lights apart, but I decided I'm not going to do this here. But the way the shape of this thing is, once I remove this, it's really sunken in. And it's not giving me the same effect as if I were to do... Um, the, the effect I like is they have like the NSX type sleepy eyes. Um, you know how it's like half open. The NSX light bar or headlight is very thin. <laughs> Okay, here we go. All lights off, nothing on in the backyard other than the car. And these ducks about to get flood blinded. So here we got no lights uh, other than my, I'll even turn those off, okay. Here we got the headlights, okay. And then we got the Holy shit light. <laughs> what? Oh man, it goes all the way up there. Yeah, you see how it doesn't really light up up there? This will literally just blind the shit out of you. This is fantastic. That's what I'm talking about right there. When people are being annoying in front of you, you hit them with the blinders. <laughs> So this was very easy to install. It's probably one of the easiest mods I've ever done. Way easier than my uh, accent lightings. Um, basically, I just mounted it to the bottom of the bumper right there. And then the other side, the same thing. And um, you get to get the wiring just to red, red to white, black to black. Very easy. Okay. And then here, inside, um, let me turn the light on. So here, inside, what I did was, um, I just ran it through this hole down here. There's a hole right there that my LED lights are ran through. And um, it comes out up here. This cord is part of the wiring harness. And there's a black cord that I just grounded right there 
And then this one I ran to the power, which is fine. I'll clean that up and I'll probably zip tie all that together. This cord goes through the fender. That's where I wired these lights. And it comes right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna snake it down there somewhere and then it attaches to this and it goes to the switch. So that way I can just string it into the switch over there somewhere. Okay, so here I have it facing the other way and you can see it's all dark over there. And um, we'll, we'll even turn off, we'll turn off my little accent lights because it does give up quite a bit of light. And then um, headlight test, here we go. Okay, so there's the headlight test and there's the high beam, low beam, high beam, low beam, high beam. Okay, headlights off. light of God <laughs> shown up yeah thank you Oxbeam for hooking me up with such amazing lights I I can't ask for anything better other than the fact that if the beams can just kind of focus down and not just flood everything but I mean these are flood lights what do you want to do but holy cow the difference between that and uh, <laughs> my regular lights is just incredible so there you go again with with light without the floodlights holy shit yeah if you guys are going off-roading or um, some midnight toge this is what you need right here all right up next the 240 um it's so dirty look at this holy cow but um the cheap ceramic coating is holding up kind of nicely I'm gonna do it with the good stuff very soon. I'm gonna just stick them uh, right down here somewhere. Probably right here. All right, let's do it. Okay, so real quick, for these ones, I didn't show this on the other um, car, but you wanna get these little disconnect things right here, the male version. These are uh, 22, 18 gauge. So you just hook them up in here like that and then you just clamp them so um yeah pliers and then that will plug into these like that uh once again white to red black to black and then they're all wired up the wiring harness right here i'm just running this um this way okay red to power black to ground there's all this other stuff. Um, these are just the relays. And then the control cord runs all the way down there. There you go. Right into there. Okay. So that goes right into the cabin. And you hook it up to your switch and you're all set. Pretty easy. Super easy install. This side, same thing. I drilled a little bit into my little foam thing here. Just so that the, the bolts will go up into there. But other than that it's looking good okay here we go some uh, nighttime testing of course you got to get some mood lighting on from the vr4 and uh you guys already seen that one so we're gonna go over to the uh 240. wow look at that can't wait to put some lights on that bad bad boy right there but um okay so you can't see anything over there pitch black darkness here we go Okay, and 240. Oh, look, ducks. <laughs> okay, now. Woo, look at those things. How are they not blinded? Okay, and then uh, we're gonna do the VR4. So, double, double the trouble. Here we go. And it is broad daylight, guys, out here in Paradox's yard. <laughs> okay, there it is. Look how bright that is. Holy cow, you can see 
you can see way, way back here. If I had my fence down, I bet you can see the horse and everything, so. Ooh, doctor. Let me know in the comments, guys. Should I change this wrap or is this too cool to get rid of? What do you guys think? It's been on here for a while and it's kind of due for a refresh. I have um, some extra material, but I don't know if I want to use the extra material I have left on this color and keep going or just change up the color altogether. Hit me in the comments. Let me know. Okay, and over here, holy hell. There it is. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, so this is like straight on looking at both cars. This is just so awesome. Okay, so if you guys are interested in having these lights on your car, go to Oxbeam and I'll link their information right here and their website and their Instagram right over here somewhere. Use the code Paradox for 10% off at Oxbeam at checkout. If it doesn't work, hit me in the comments. I will hit them up and make sure that it works. So um, yeah, or, or DM me on Instagram if you say Oxbeam's dis Paradox discount code doesn't work. Let me know. Capital P Paradox at checkout. So they're going to continue to send me stuff. Um, so this, I'm just going to do reviews on them. And I'm going to show you guys how it is. This is just awesome. Dang. So this is going to be great. Because during the winter time, it just gets so dark so quickly. And when people come and drop off their cars, I really can't see what their cars look like. Um, and do good videos for you guys. So I'm going to line both these cars up right over here in the grass area. And then when they come through through that gate right here, boom. Just You put the floodlights on their car. And then I'll probably get some better lights up top over there instead of those two. And then this whole area will be just lit up. So it's going to be great. So here it is. Bam. Look at that. So this one kind of points up a little bit just because the uh, KBD bumper sags slightly. So I kind of want it like this. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to loosen this bracket back here and I'm going to adjust it forward a little bit. So these brackets are so nice though. They're nice, thick and meaty and they are fully adjustable this way and up and down. So it's perfect. Now I got to figure out what I want to do with my pop-ups that don't really... What are you doing? What are you doing? Hmm? Put your dirty beak in my wheel? Hmm? Yeah, so I gotta figure out what I wanna do with my pop-ups on the 240, that doesn't work. And you guys probably have noticed that this one has condensation in it. So yeah, I have to take it out and then dry it and then seal it up. And I think that'd be okay. Or let me know in the comments if I should just cut out the back and let, just let the back be exposed to the air. That way, no condensation can get in there. It will get wet, maybe, whatever. And then uh, it will dry off again because it's, it's exposed to the air in the back. Let me know what I should do. All right, guys, that's it for this episode. Once again, thank you so much to Oxbeam for hooking me up with these awesome lights. I can't stress enough how awesome their wiring harness is. So these lights you can get like, you can get on eBay or Amazon or stuff like that for like 30, 40 bucks. They're roughly around the same price range. But the fact that their wiring harness is just so easy and already mocked up for you, you don't have to do any special wiring. You just simply bolt it up, plug it to your battery, run it through the firewall or around your door in case of the VR4. And then um, that's it. Boom, you can hit the switch inside and you're done. So thank you guys so much for sending me this stuff. Can't wait to see what else they got in store for me. Maybe some underglow. Hmm, we'll see. So until next time, guys, leave me a comment. Like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later.